Hello and welcome to IT Security Labs. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a lab for working on machines from Vaughnhub. If you're not familiar with Vaughnhub, it's a website where you can get vulnerable machines, download them to your computer, and start hacking your way out on, on them. The trouble that most people face is they don't know how to set up a proper lab where you can set up and make sure that these vulnerable machines do not have internet access and they do not generate unwanted traffic on your home network when you are hacking and working on them. So today I'm going to show you how to set up this lab so that you can isolate these vulnerable machines on your network and also make sure that you don't create unnecessary traffic when you are brute forcing or uh, scanning these machines. So as you can see here, I have a diagram here. So this is your internet service provider, say Comcast. Then this is your home router or firewall. And then I have a wireless access point. On this iMac here, it's connected wirelessly. So this is what I'm setting up. And this iMac got its IP address from my home router and on the subnet where I just use some devices. But what I want is I also want to create a different network on this iMac. So inside this computer, I'm going to install PFSense. I'm also going to have a vulnerable machine from Vaughnhub. In this case, it's going to be Keoptrix. And then I will have Kali Linux. And the concept here is we are going to have PFSense handle this lab and we can disconnect here so that we don't have any internet access. But the reason why I'm putting PFSense instead of using VMware Fusion network is because I like to control this in a granular way. And in future videos, I plan on using PFSense to trace incidents, say, as an IDS module in there to enable. So I can uh, show you guys how uh, intrusion detection works. This is a good lab that we can use not only for Vaughnhub, but for the future of learning uh, a lot of things on the network. So without wasting time, what you're going to need is VMware Fusion in my case, but you can also download VirtualBox, which is free. It'll work in either VMware Fusion, Workstation or VirtualBox. I just happen to have VMware Fusion on my Mac. And after that, you want to go and download your ISOs. In this case, I'm downloading my Kali Linux um, machine. As you can see, it's actually still downloading down here. I also have a Kali ISO that I can show you. Then go ahead and download any machine from here. P so we need to download PFSense from here. Select your location and this CD and click download. Once you download PFSense and VMware Fusion and everything, in your downloads folder, you should have Kali Linux ISO, PFSense ISO, and also your virtual machine. In my case, I have Keoptrix. We are going to import this machine in our VMware Fusion. Awesome. So once we, we do that, go ahead and launch your v VMware Fusion here. And the first machine that we need to create is our PFSense. So to do that, we're just going to create new uh, I want to install from disk and continue. I want to browse and in my downloads folder, I have my PFSense ISO. Okay. And open. Now I have PFSense ISO in there, then continue. I'll leave that the same. I would like to customize the settings. And I would like to name this PFSense. Yeah, I would like to save it there. Sure. All right. And in here, I want to add another interface, another network adapter. Okay, so once we create our machine, we need to add a second network adapter. But the one thing that we need to do is make sure that we have one adapter and we have two adapter, adapter two, right? Going back here to our diagram, we see that one adapter is connected to our Mac. So this is going to be bridged to our Mac. Then there's going to be another one here that's just going to be private to this lab. So to do that, this one is going to be bridged with my Mac, shared with my Mac. That's a good one. And the second one, this one, I want it to be private right here. 
this is only to this mark it's not going anywhere else so that's that's a good thing about this and then after that that's all we need for those two settings the hard disk i like i like to leave it at 20 that's fine and then uh, actually i almost forgot let's check our cd make sure that it's there connect disk drive yep all right so let's start our machine and off we go we're just going to go quickly install pfsense firewall so just follow the defaults here there is nothing fancy and then i'll show you once we get there all right so that's all we needed to do now we configured our machine as you can see our wan and lan let's just do a quick ping uh, let's go to the internet as you can see we can go to the internet so that's what we do on Kali so when we come back our machines for this lab are going to be in this 192.168.1 network so that's very important after that going back to our diagram we have our pfsense firewall let's install our Kali Linux then we'll import our machine very simple I am just going to say create new uh, from disk sure continue actually let's do a um, create a custom one because uh, I'm, I'm going to be deciding here what I need and here I want it to be Debian it should be yeah this should work and continue it's legacy continue new virtual disk continue then we customize our settings name this Kali it's going to be in our virtual machines save then here I want to make sure that this network for Kali is not shared with my Mac it's on the private to this Mac that's um, very important let's go ahead and attach our ISO which I for almost forgot choose disk like you see my downloads Kali Linux ISO open connect and let's start our machine so this is very simple we, we're just using again the defaults here yep we want a graphical install all right we want english continue united states done okay here it's asking for a, our dns we don't want any so show windows maybe all right now continue host name is going to be Kali domain name I don't want I don't want any let's just continue full name of user our fictitious user for this lab and our username and our password enter a strong password here but uh, my time is going to be central continue I did use the entire disk yes so as you can see I'm not changing anything really I'm just finishing everything and yes continue so this will just install everything so let's pause the recording all right, so it's asking for a proxy. We don't care. We don't want that, so continue. Okay, sure. Let's continue. Yes, we don't want a network mirror. There we go. Now it's installing, of course. 
want everything yes and continue we want that one all right our installation is done so what we need to do is show windows because and continue now it's just going to reboot now it's very important that this machine get an ip address of 192.168.1 from this pfsense firewall not from my imac or from my house so that's what we're doing here as you can see we are presented with the option and there we go let's do an ipa as you can see 192.168.1.100 and let's ping 192.168.1.1 which is our pfsense we can get there right now we should also be able to ping the internet because we are connected but this lab is isolated so if you don't want the internet to be connected to, to your lab all you need to do is go to pfsense settings and disconnect this adapter by double clicking on it and uncheck this so if i do this right now and go back to our kali and run the same commands host unreachable that means that this lab is now isolated to itself but we can still ping our pfsense router so routing is and everything is now being done in a secure way and this lab is not now isolated okay so we now have our pfsense we have our kali and according to our diagram here we need a vulnerable machine in our case we went to vulnhub and we downloaded if you search for key up tricks and the one that we did actually was level one this one so we just went over here downloaded from the mirror it's a dot r so i use gun zip or just extract it and once you extract it you'll find it in your in your downloads folder it will look like this then of course you can just right click open with and unarchive it once you are unarchive it come here you see this fi this file just suggest you copy this copy the whole folder all right now you go to your home folder virtual machines double click there as you can see you want to come in here and paste now that you pasted it you can open and what we want is this just um open double click on this vmx file it will say no i don't want to upgrade it i copied it or moved it doesn't matter really no i don't want to do that and our machine is starting so after it's done starting we'll get a sign in page okay so our machine is done if you like this type of content please consider subscribing our community is growing we're almost at ten thousand. as you can see we are reached now with a login page the problem is we don't know what this login page is which is cool but uh we now have our vulnerable machine now coming to back to our Kali, we can run net discover to find out what this machine is. I'll be doing that a lot in this lab. Uh, otherwise, um, let's just see what we have here in, in our new Kali. Let's open Firefox. From here, let me sign into my PFSense firewall. So, so we can prove that uh, everything is working and also change your password because we haven't um, done that except the risk I think it's admin pfsense don't save next okay next what's name pfsense next Let's just leave everything the way it is. Our MAC address there, whatever. 
you can customize a lot of things in here i'm just leaving everything to default for now and then here we can change our password now don't save let's reload our pfsense so give it a second and i'll show you in here where um everything is i don't want to check for any updates right now but if i go to services dhcp server it's enabled so that's good then if you go to diagnostics i want to find um actually is it status dhcp lists one in use c config IPA 192.168.1.100 is this one and it says Kali so my Keoptrix machine is not in here what I can do is try to find out why and restart this machine all right so we now have our full lab and we have Keoptrix here connected to Kali and our PFSense so this is the same lab that I'm going to be using to go through all these machines here. So as you can see, our first machine is Keoptrix level number one. And that's what we'll be working on in the next few videos. So if you're interested in all these machines that will help you to prepare for the OSCP, subscribe to my channel. I'll be creating more content and we'll be hacking together. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.